Hi, this is Mathematics for Social Justice by Mark Roth. In this video, I'm going to talk about math that was used in my real life. So a lot of times students challenge teachers, when are, when are we ever going to use this? And so I want to actually tell you when I did unexpectedly use math in my life. The first story, I was a young teacher, about 25 years old, and I went out to my car at lunch and there was like a big bubble on one of my tires. And... Um, I lived about 15 minutes away from my work, so I thought, uh, I, can't, uh, I can't risk driving home on this tire. I'll have to go right down the hill. There was a Montgomery Wards where I could buy a tire. The trouble is back then I didn't have a credit card. <laughs> I bought everything with cash, and I didn't have enough cash to buy a tire. But um, I was able to borrow some money from other teachers, and... I, dr I drove down to Montgomery Wards after school to buy this tire. I think at the time it was something like around 70-some dollars. Salesman was a young man, even younger than me, I think, and a uh, blonde-haired guy, I remember. And he, he says, it's too bad you don't need a second tire because if you buy two tires, you get 10% off. And I said, well, you know, um, I really should buy two tires because my spare is not very good shape. So... Um, if I promise to come back tomorrow and buy the second tire, can I still get 10% off? And he says, yeah, that'll work. Since you're getting 10% off the two tires, you'll get 5% off the tire today and 5% off the tire tomorrow. And I said, no, I'm, I'm supposed to get 10% off the tire today and 10% off the tire tomorrow. And when I said that, I could kind of read his mind. He, he uh, looked like he wasn't quite sure if that was right or not, but he decided not to challenge me. And uh, I ended up saving some money because I knew that math. It's just basically a distributive law. So if you're going to find 10% is 0.1, so if you have tire 1 and tire 2, uh, by the distributive law, you get 10% you get, uh, off tire 1, and you get 10% uh, off tire 2. So that's one example where I use math in my real life and it saved me a bit of money. A second story is uh, I kind of grew up swimming in the ocean. My father was a surfer. He started surfing back in the 1930s. He was one of the first surfers in California. And um, he always told me that if you get caught in a rip, a riptide, swim perpendicular to the flow of the current. So I never had to use that, but I remembered it. And so uh, this one time I went with friends to the Russian River in Northern California. And I went in the ocean near the Russian River. And I could tell the current was taking me out to sea, but I thought, it's okay. I'll catch a wave and uh, body surf back in. But unfortunately, when I got to the waves, I didn't catch a wave. So the river water was taking me out to sea. I thought, okay, I'll have to use my dad's advice. So I figured... I knew rivers kind of go like this and they kind of do that. They kind of spread out. So I figured I jumped in the ocean on the right side of the river. So I have to, I have to swim like that. Okay. To get back to shore. And I do the backstroke. So I don't, I'm not really looking where I'm going. I was doing the elementary backstroke and I wasn't watching where I was going. But I was swimming and swimming and swimming, and I turned around, expected to be near the shore. But I turned around, and I was farther out to sea than I was before. And this worried me. I wasn't afraid of drowning. I had a, a partial wetsuit on, called a Farmer John. But um, I was really worried my friends were going to be nervous, because where I was, they couldn't see me. And I thought, oh, they were going to call the Coast Guard on me and get all scared and... Uh, um, I was really worried about that. I try to tell myself not to panic or anything and uh, just be calm and figure out what I have to do. So I, I just shredded water until I could figure out a second plan because the first plan didn't work. So the second plan was, after some thinking, maybe I drifted over to this side and what I need to do is this. And it took me a couple of minutes to figure that out, but then I tried it. And this time I turned around more frequently and I sighted this rock and made sure that this rock in the ocean was getting closer and closer to me. 
as I swam towards the shore because the rock was between me and the shore. So this worked. And uh, I got out of the water. And I guess it did take something out of me because then I had a swimmer <laughs> to get to the other side again to get to my friends. And, of course, I actually ended up swimming like this because of the current. And I really had to swim hard so I didn't get taken out to sea again. So that's just two stories from my real life where I did use some math. Thanks for watching.